Alright guys, this is the uh, the Master 60 uh, 480 combination uh, luggage lock. You may uh, remember this lock from another video I did, in which I showed you how to uh, open it by picking this little wafer lock on the bottom. Now in this video, I'm going to show you actually how to retrieve the combination. And what you're going to need for this is a little piece of a little strip of aluminum cut from a soda can. This strip measures roughly. Uh, about an inch and a half tall by a uh, quarter of an inch wide. Now currently this uh, this uh, lock is set up to operate on the combat on the number hope you can see that thing let me focus up in there. One five seven. Works on that number, as you can see. Now, if I switch to something else, you see it will not work. So I'm not uh, pulling any strings here. Will not work. Right, we're gonna open it back up. We're gonna open it back up and uh, reset it to a new combination, which I will not know. And again, when it's on 157, it will not work. Alright, let's uh, reset it by turning the uh, shackle 90 degrees to the left, pushing down. And I'm just having it in, on the inside of my palm, and I'm just going to spin the dial rand randomly, and I'm not going to know what the new combination is. Lock it back up, spin the dial again so I don't know what the new combination is. And it has been set. And to prove to you the old combination will not work, let's I'll sh let's I'm gonna put it to one five seven again. Will not work. One five seven will not work. Now to, now what you're gonna do is how this say now how this works is you're gonna slide the pointed edge of the uh, strip, the strip of aluminum from the soda can, under the bottom edge, under the under the bottom edge of the wheel, like this. And what you and when that goes in there, it's gonna contact the uh, inner wheel, which is the actual the actual tumbler itself. Now, when you're on the wrong number, it's just gonna feel smooth. But when you get to the gate, when the gate's aligned. You're gonna feel it drop down into the lock, and you also know when you're in that when you when when you know when you got it when you try to move it is it, it, when you try to move it back and forth, you'll the wheel itself will budge back and forth slightly. So let's get to decoding it. First thing we're gonna do is uh, start on zero. Hold the wheel so it won't budge, so it won't slip and slide. Get the get the strip, put the pointed end under there, and slide it straight across to the back. Nothing. So we go on to the next number. One. Let's try that. Nothing. The next is going to the next number. Two. Nothing there. Next one. These we have it on three. Oh, there we got it on three. You can see when I try to move the piece of the strip, it will budge, budges back and forth. That means that's the number. It's the tumbler. I mean the tumblers there. I mean I mean the uh, gate of the tumblers there. Let's repeat this, the process for the next for wheels uh, two and three. Let's go to zero. Nothing. One, nothing, two, not there, three, not there still, four, nope, 
five, nada, six, nothing still, seven, there we go, there's the uh, gate, and, and I'll show you again, it'll, and we'll try and move it back and forth, it causes the uh, outer wheel to budge, that means we got it. Now, last, the last, the third wheel, the last wheel, let's go back to zero. You don't have to start on zero, but it, it make it helps, it helps, it's a little bit easier to remember just all the numbers you've gone through. But again, same process, go from the front of it all the way to the back, slide it, and follow it smooth. Go to the next number, one. Not it. Let's go to two. There it is. Two. Now they're all lined. Now we haven't gotten the combination just yet. Now all you have to do is add or subtract five spaces to each of the numbers. For three, let's move forward five spaces. For the first wheel, one, two, three, four, five. The first number is eight. Now let's go to the uh, second number, which is seven. We're going to add five faces to that one as well. One, two, three, four, five. The second number is two. Now the last number, the last wheel, let's do the same. One, two, three, four, five. And voila, we got it. 827 to the number. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's all for now, guys. Take care and don't use this for any illegal purposes. And if you do, I'm not responsible for it. <laughs> Peace.